What's up, freaks? This is the Russian and the Freak Show, episode number 10. Holy shit, number 10. With the Freak and... The Russian. Episode number 10. I don't know how the fuck we made it to episode number 10. I remember after episode number 1, I had to get like three horse tranquilizers shot into me just to make me sit there and deal with that first episode. And I said, never again. It was a fucking mess. It was it was a nightmare. I know. wonder how we made it here. Then. And somehow it's episode 10 already. Episode 10 already. <laughs> fucking crazy. Crazy stuff. All right. So we're going to get rolling. It is... September 10th, day before September 11th, we have a Suffering Saturday workout tomorrow playing with some visitors coming over for the workout. But today, Russian and the Freak, episode number 10, we're talking about your schedule. We're talking about your schedule, specifically your meetings on your calendar. Because your schedule is filled with meetings for work and business and money. But what about meetings for your family, for your kids, for your relationship, your, your, your partner or your fucking goat or whatever your weird ass is into? Do you have that stuff? Does that even exist on your calendar? Do you even have meetings for that stuff? Or you just wing it and think people can read your fucking mind and know what's going on and know what the schedule is and know what when you need what done? And on The Russian and the Freak, it's always about how to maintain your equilibrium and function in this dysfunctional, fucked up world as a freak family in business and life so you can transform your chaotic complexity into your own personal normalcy. That's the freak life. That's personal freedom. Is what it's all about. That's what we're talking about. This is how to win at business, at family, at life, and relationships. This is 100% real world, real situations, real life, real relationships. Shit you need to hear. No bullshit. Just straightforward. Telling it like it is how it fucking should be. And that's what the purpose of meetings are. And that's what we're going to get into. As we bring the fucking fire every second of every second. Let's do this. Let's roll, guys. So, please... Make comments below, write it down if you actually do those meetings, if you schedule with your partner, because there is a reason and, and for the meetings, right? There is a purpose behind it, and that's what we really wanted to talk to you. Number one, it's really all about communication, because if, if let's put it this way, if you do not schedule these meetings... Speaking of communication, if you need to just download... Google Translate, and you'll be able to understand what the fuck she's saying, because I don't even know what she's saying half the time. So half of the meetings, I have to hold up to translate or type it into Google Translate and find out what is being said in, in Russian or whatever. So yeah. feel free to download that and have that as a companion app to the Russian and the Freak Show. I don't even sometimes what I say. I have to say 10 times to understand. But the whole idea is to... Have we're gonna go shoot some bone. Leader. We're gonna go shoot some bone and arrows later, just so you know, some bone and arrows. Just so you know that I actually wrote this in one of our files. Instead of the bow and arrow, I wrote and bone and arrow. And I would even say this. So that's the stuff we're talking about. But this is real life situation. Look, we're not perfect. We made so many mistakes. But we are here. <laughs> we are here with you that's to tell sure. you that how is it under, is. That is the understatement of the fucking year. <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, God. Holy shit. Don't get me started on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> We all fucking worked up. I'm ready to roll. That's good because we got to have that energy for tomorrow's workout. But guys, communication. So it's all about having a clear communication. Imagine if if you do not set this in calendar with your partner. So it's, it's you're going to create a chaos and 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 absolutely not, no ability to really function as a family, right? And have... Uh, really set we need to have a meeting so I can know what the fuck she's talking about because so, right I don't even know where you're going with this. So we need a meeting to talk about the the, the show about the meetings. Yes, no, but we're gonna start with the communication. So please write it down. How do you set your family? What do you do in your family to have a clear communication about your schedule? Because this is important. Like, or you just the last moment you tell your partner that something is coming up, uh, like whatever you have on your schedule the partner doesn't know about it so that's what we wanted to know we would like to hear from you guys like if i jumped right into your life right now parachute right into your home first of all it's fucking weird i hope you're not doing some weird shit when i parachute into your life but anyway if i parachute right into your home and looked and said all right open up your schedule open up your calendar i bet you i would see you're meeting with your boss you're meeting with your business partners you're meeting with your workers the whatever a peer a review you have to do with your staff or a staff meeting a leadership meeting a fucking marketing meeting you have all these meetings set up and you know what you're going to do for those meetings 
if you're the, the manager, the owner, the entrepreneur, you're going to show up like a motherfucker, right? You're prepared. You have notes. You have presentations. You stayed up late at night and ignored your fucking family to get ready for that meeting that's your that's calendar, skill with all, calendar is filled with all these fucking meetings. But where are the meetings for your family? Where are the, the business professional meetings with your family? So you need personal meetings with your family and professional meetings with your family, especially if you're in business together with your family, with your partner, with your whatever. And even if you're not, you still need to have meetings discussing it, like knowing when you're going to be traveling, knowing when you're going to be doing what, knowing when you're going to be out of town or when you're not going to be able to bring the kids to school or when you have something personal scheduled with your your friends or whatever, and you're going out, you're going out with the girls out to the fucking strip club or whatever you girls do when you get together, get your nails done, all that other bullshit. <laughs> it's not you can't say, oh, the like the, the, the day before, say, oh, don't forget, I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow because you know it takes you, you, you fucking people like eight hours to get your nails. Done. I don't know how you just slap some fucking paint on and you're done. Like how long could it take to get that shit done? That like that's crazy. Different things, right? All right, I, I sh I'm gonna open up a, a nail place, and it's gonna be it's gonna be record breaking. So we're gonna get 50 times more people in and out of there because they walk in, you slap the shit on, and they're out. <laughs> we'll, we'll get 10 times more customers per minute than anyone else. <laughs> but anyway, you can't say, "Oh, don't forget, I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow," when you normally don't do it on that day. And then it's like, I don't fucking remember that. Like literally, put even something as stupid as that, put it on the calendar. If it's something you have scheduled, you're going to meet your friends for lunch or something. That shit should be on the calendar so it doesn't pop up last minute. You can't say, oh, remember we mentioned about it. We talked about it, you know, in 1988 that on, on that Thursday that I might possibly be going to have lunch with my friends. Be like, motherfucker, that ain't good enough. It's got to be like in writing so it's it's structured and controlled. Just same way you do in your business. Do that shit in your personal life. It should, all your meetings should be there. And this is just pop-up stuff we're talking about, like casual social stuff we're talking about, but then also actually structured meetings. Yeah, guilty. I actually went to very, get my very, hair done. Very, very. Call up fucking Judge like, Wapner. <laughs> call up fucking Judge Wapner and, and, and Johnny Cochran. Guilty <laughs> is a motherfucker. That's what I did today. Didn't put it on the schedule. Uh, oh, don't you remember? I was having a thought about it in 1976 that I was going to maybe get my nails done on Tuesday in 2021. I was having the thought. You don't remember? I was thinking about it. Like three fucking weeks ago? No, I can't read your motherfucking mind. <laughs> but look like... Yes, that's why we have to do it. But guys, the whole idea is like when we're talking about entrepreneurs, CEOs, people like you guys, some of you, because not everybody is entrepreneur, you, you, you have these meetings like Steve said and everything is on calendar, right? And you perform, perform 100% for the company that you work for, but then your performance is so bad at home with your partner, with your kids. That's what we're talking about. That's the whole idea. You bring what you bring to your work and that high expectations that you have of your team, of, of your workplace and, and, and... Your discipline, your structure, your standards and expectations that you have house. in work, but you don't have it... You, and you have it with all your relationships at work, but not at home. And not even just your, your spouse or whatever... Also, even with your kids, like you should be having like different types of meetings we have on a regular basis. We have daily, daily, quick little meetings, just recaps. But there's also different weekly meetings for different types of businesses. But then there's also personal meetings. Where we're going over the personal calendar. What do we have scheduled for the week? Then we're, we're going over on daily where it's quick, quick checkups, quick check ins and updates about what's going on. And making sure that it's all actually in Google Calendar and making sure that it's the other person is added onto it. If there's changes to it, you change it so everyone sees the changes. So make sure it's not conflicting with something else. Like all this stuff needs to get done. So yes, I know that you guys might want to know, okay, what's the steps? How, how I'm going to start doing this with my family? I don't know where to start, what to do. Google Calendar is a great calendar. We've been using it. And literally when you go into Google Calendar, you have your personal, you have your family, you can set this up in a way that the, the, your partner can see it. And for instance, if um, I'm going to give you an example, we have a, a, a getaway for the project wives in two weeks, right? This appears in the calendar and it says exactly where we're going and who is attending. So he's going to accept it. But there are things like just recently I invited him for something and he said no but he knew it that it's coming up appear on his Half calendar the time i say no i'm not going to do some fucking hot high heel yoga no i'm not going to go go do fucking stripper pole class i get all this shit popping up on my calendar and it's like nope 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 fuck no motherfuck no 
Hell no, I'm not guys, gonna do that I stuff. keep on trying, holding hands on the beach. No. Doing hot yoga. No. Doing nope. stretching. No. Nope. Big old <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, but in a land of no, there is a land of yes. Oh, God. So I will get it. Oh, God. Oh, God. So but what's the purpose of these meetings and whatever else? Well, first is so that you are prepared and you're aware. You have awareness of what's going on. You have control of your fucking day. You have personal freedom to then know what, what, what's expected of you, what, who's going to be doing what and when. And also to actual meetings that we have for each individual business. It won't be scattered about all different random things. It'll be a meeting about, all right, the clothing that we're doing. It'll be a meeting about the private coaching that we do. It'll be a meeting about the LTD. It'll be a meeting about the project. If I need some help with some of that stuff, it'll be a specific meeting with a specific agenda so that we know who's responsible for what, who's doing what. You do the same thing at fucking work, do the same thing at home. Then there's nothing to talk about. Then there you could hold each other accountable. There's also should be feedback in those meetings, transmitting and receiving feedback. There should be support and teamwork. There should be brainstorming, collaborating, coming up with different ideas, thinking I might have something that I'm thinking of. She might have something she's thinking of, but no one thought of this other thing up here. But that thought plus that thought somehow comes to this thought that no one else would have had on their own if there wasn't collaboration and teamwork and brainstorming and masterminding as, as what's his name calls it. Napoleon Hill calls it like that's the ultimate form of communication. Like in what was the fucking movie? Holmes and Watson. If you ever saw Holmes and Watson, you are you are missing out. What a fucking awesome movie. We watched that like a hundred times. Where they go visit Holmes' brother and Watson's like the dope so he can't get on their level. And they're so smart and intelligent. They're having like brain talk to each other. They're having a little conversation. Funny movie. fucking movie. I if you never saw Holmes and Watson, again. you gotta yeah. watch Holmes and Watson. So it's all fucking about funny. creating the mastermind. And what we want for, for you guys, even though you, you maybe you're not entrepreneur yet, you're not there yet, but you have some thoughts, some ideas, and you feel alone in this because, like, you, you want to create something, but you don't feel support. You don't maybe have support from from your partner. Just kind of having a sit down meeting and saying, "Hey, listen, this is what I want to do. Let's do this. Let's put it on the calendar. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can be supportive. Like little things like that. Like if I for this might might be silly or sounds silly when he has his um, project." dinner right after right after the project i already know that i'm gonna get his clothes and get ready and prepared so when he comes to this dinner is already because this dinner happens on friday right after the project when it's the graduation night i cannot be thinking the last moment running and doing the uh, you know the suit but i've so done the sunday it, before we'll have the personal meeting and it's we'll go through the <laughs> checklist of all right we need to make sure the dry clean is ready for the project dinner we need to make sure the 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 kids is jujitsu is getting done a different day because i could be able to do it that day so all that stuff gets done ahead of time at the personal meeting a week ahead of time so we can adjust things on the calendar everyone is prepared everyone is ready the meetings are, are highlighting big events, they're highlighting trips, they're highlighting changes to the schedule, and that's just on the personal side. And again, like she said, if you, even if you're not entrepreneurs, you, you both have jobs, or maybe one of you has a job, one of you is, is stays at home, or you both have jobs. Maybe you have a, an important presentation coming up next Tuesday, but you need to work on it every day. So you might have to have in that meeting, that's your professional meeting, about, listen, I need to prepare this presentation. I need to spend three or four hours a day at this time to get this ready after work, before work, whatever it is on the weekend. So I need this block of time that I'm not going to be able to do this. So you're going to need to take care of this so I can get this presentation ready for work. Things like that. It's just an example, but you get the point. Yeah. And we still working on it. We still didn't uh, dial in to, you know, like perfect. It's, it's all about now he gave me some idea too, that we need to even do more of this because I've done it such a faux pas and made such a mistakes. What? Oh, well, you say like a mistake. What whatever. Did you say? Fo Who says? Fo whatever, French, whatever. That is. It's just. We're not like, in fucking France. Oh, whatever. I don't know what the fuck I you're say, talking about. I don't know. I say it in Polish. Fopa. I don't know. It's just whatever. It doesn't matter. Maybe you. It does matter. No one knows the fuck you're talking about. Now we have. Now we have to have another meeting to talk about your fucking uh, French. All right. Hold on. Hold on. So I made a mistake. He had the dinner, and I remember he's go he was looking for these clothes, and they were not ready. And I'm like, never, ever again. Yeah, the white but shirt that wasn't ready. We had to go to fucking Kohl's last minute, and I had to go get a, a white shirt there. And Look. I'm trying on in the store, stripping down my shirt because I didn't even have time to go in the dressing room. Had to put the shirt on in the thing, 
And then you got the Nazi telling me to go put the fucking face diaper on. So I took my tank top off and just wrapped it around my face. I should have taken my underwear off. Should have taken my underwear off and put it around my face and just walked around bucket naked. But look what it means. You know, Speaking of face, we went to... We went to, yeah, don't get me started Come on, on the fucking hold Facebook on, there was, stuff. Hold on, face, you were going to say it. Bot, it no, up. it was really crazy, guys. It was silly. With Keith Smith, what's up? Your freak show. <laughs> with, these, with, with the suit. I, I thought the dry cleaning was open. The last moment was trying to pick it up. And I said, never, ever again. So be the wife. Be the partner, whoever you have in your household that actually supports the mission of 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 your other partner. Like help them. Keith Smith here with us. Graduate of the graduate of the project, honor man of the project. What's I up? Free. Get That's who dre- sent us the case of bang before everybody. Oh, did. thank you. Love bang. Love and, bang. And the, and the candidates really love the bang. When I have bang, my psychiatrist tells me you don't have any caffeine, so I make sure to chug three or four of those bangs right before I go hook those. Project candidates up with some fun. Really creates the creative mode, the creativity. But anyway, I lost my fault that I... Um, oh, I, 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 I drive as an Uber uh, driver, right? On Friday for the project, and I love it. I get dressed up and I drop him off. And the reason for it, not because he wouldn't drive. He said to me he would have drive to New York after three days of not sleeping for I'll the project. I'll finish the project and I'll drive from California to New York without stopping. All right, let's Ch- not... Test ch- me. No, no, test no, no, me. let's not test go me. there. Challenge because, me. See no, 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 no. Because he, this guy is nuts. And it's not I'm saying because I'm his wife and I want to boost his ego. I'm saying the real how it is. And project, project people know this, that they, he's absolutely crazy. Maybe you're all so, good. Now I'm fucking normal. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. All right, back to the meeting. No, 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 hold on, hold on. So I just wanted to point this out that we actually, someone would say, oh, I'm not going to be driving my husband and spending time to do this. I actually collaborated with another uh, instructor's wife and we meet that day. Everything was put together. The kids go to jujitsu earlier. We do this uh, during the week. So I have an open night. So when he comes after that, Three days of intense training, I get ready to serve him and help him so he can just relax, go there, I will pick him up, and we go. And that's how it goes. So it, at this time, we just collaborate with other with other wives, and we just get together, and the kids have fun, and it's all working perfect. So guys, but, but how this was done, it was all about helping him trying to help, like, really put together everything. And it worked. And it always will work if you come from a place of service and help. Are you fucking done? Jesus. I don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. I don't even know what the topic is anymore. I love like this. I don't even know what the fuck the topic is. I don't even know what we're talking about. The end. I don't even know. I don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. What are we talking about? What's the topic? And this is not Oprah because of some Bang. Shit? What are this you is, talking about? This is not because of Bang. It's yeah. because of my brain. All right, we're talking about meetings, right? That's what we're talking about, scheduling meetings. And and another thing in the meeting is not it, it, coming prepared, as I mentioned, prepared. The same way you do at the office, come prepared for your fucking professional meetings at home. Come prepared for your personal meetings at home. Know the dates and times, locations. Be ready to share them. Be ready to get them set on the calendar. Don't start bullshitting and wasting people's time. Like Show up with that information already in hand so you're not wasting time and babbling getting a bunch of shit done. No half-assing shit. And if someone is half-assing, you need to let them know and give feedback. The same way you would in the office, you need to give fucking feedback, sometimes straightforward. And you know what? It might sting a little bit. Feedback stings a little bit in these meetings. But you have to separate the personal from the professional. If we're having a business meeting and we need to go down and dirty into some business stuff, some number stuff, some money stuff, some whatever stuff, when it comes time to go talk about the personal stuff, it can't be all like, oh, fucking bitching and moaning about stuff because you're pissed off because you were half-assing over the business. We still got... Personal shit to take care of. Kids still got to get to jujitsu. You still got to do all this other stuff. I still need a motherfucking dinner. So don't make a mother <laughs> don't make a motherfucker starve just because you can't get your shit together in a business meeting. Like you need to learn to separate those two because that's fucking important. Because you start putting some some fucking X slacks in my egg whites because you're pissed off what happened in a fucking <laughs> business meeting. Now you just fucked up the whole day. So don't no. don't be that person who lets blends those things. And it could be hard to do, but don't let those things fucking merge and blend together it has to be compartmentalized like this is a business meeting all right this is personal stuff we need to schedule this shit we need to do that it needs to be collaboration you need to have some give and take it can't just be all one way one-sided because i've never been in an argument in my life i've never been in an argument because like, i can't be in an argument because i'm always right so how could i possibly be in an argument if i'm always right everybody laughing now I, no, no it's the truth uh, we know this that you are always right 
we already established this. Yes. So why we said this, why Steve said it, because there were moments that would sting. He would tell me straightforward something. And if you know Steve, he can make you cry. He makes men cry. So imagine me, me crying, of course. You guys <laughs> so are the, fine. You guys live in the project 24 hours a day. Yeah, they, these people, yes. But now imagine a project, project 24 hours a day. Non-stop. No your own way. It's, toughening, it's toughening you people up in this, this Even at, when we sleep, I can't up even in this touch cave. him. He's going to go, shh, 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 all this crazy stuff. Well, don't, don't knock me wake, out. You don't wake someone up when you're wearing this like gray fucking coat down to the floor with like a black belt and some fucking Nazi hat and start, and start I am leaving. And uh, of course I'm going to fucking snap and think I'm in yeah, some POW camp. Yeah, he me. In some fucking POW camp yeah. or something. Anyway, this stuff has to get scheduled. The meetings have to be scheduled. There has to be an agenda. You have to know what's going to be discussed. You have to show up prepared, a set date and time with specific topics. It's on the calendar so other things don't get scheduled at that time. And it has to have a priority. It can't be like, oh, something else came up. Screw that meeting. Like if you have a meeting, don't, th then if, if that's the case, don't even schedule it because if it's not a priority, it could just get bumped. Unless it's something that's extremely important, then you reschedule it. You communicate on a time to reschedule. You find another time that mutually works. You put it on there and then you do the other thing. Only if it's something that's important, some money making shit or something. That's that's really the only excuse for switching shit up. Yeah, because I switched shit up. It was crazy and I am guilty of it that I've done it. Don't be fucking with my calendar. Don't be fucking with my calendar. That's the free victories at the end. You see, at the end of the day, free victories. But anyway... I, I've done it. I've done it. I would we would supposed to have a meeting and or, or some kind of recording and I would switch something and change and there were mistakes and I'm guilty of it. That's why but if you can't handle I, change and you're gonna be a, a bitching and moaning about change, life is fucking change. Be prepared for change, be prepared for shit to go sideways, be prepared for nothing to work in your fucking life. They say Mike Tyson said it or Joe Lewis said it or whoever the fuck said it, that everyone has a plan until you get punched in the fucking face. Life is gonna punch you in the fucking face every day. The stuff we're talking about is not perfect, it's never gonna be perfect. Shit's gonna get knocked so I would go for it. You better make it count. <laughs> I told you, you that better I'm make gonna, it fucking count. I'm gonna punch him in this show. <laughs> you better make that shit count. No, but yeah, so so Google Calendar, let's do this color coded. Search Google and it will tell you how to do it. We also did like even the Google Notes, the Keep Notes, whatever you have. Nowadays, phone have all these things. Maybe you use something else. The app doesn't matter. Schedule. It's, a, it's a, what the app does for you. We're yes. about the apps going to get dumb units again. There's millions of apps. The apps yes. doesn't matter. We use yes. Google. Google Keep for checklists to collaborate on different topics and ideas and whatever and notes about the meeting so we know what the agenda is where you could just go back and forth like a checklist, a note-taking app, and then Google Calendar. It's all integrated. It all works together. You see it the second you update it. It's fucking perfect. Yes. And this is just daily stuff throughout the week. Then we also will have not really monthly, I don't think, nothing really specifically monthly, but more like a quarterly, like a check-in for after every three, four months and then even a yearly, a big one of the year where there's, where there's goal setting and plans and what's the next thing? What are we going to... What is going to get, what is, what are we going to stop doing? What are we going to start doing? What do we need to do more of? What do we need to do less of? And that's more like on a quarterly basis and on a yearly basis, because listen, a lot of stuff that we do and try, if you're not fucking up and failing and, 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 and doing all kinds of stupid shit, you're not taking enough risks. You're not making enough bold moves and you ain't going to make enough fucking money. I'll tell you that. So there'll be shit that I'll spend months and months working on and shit just fucking flops. We're like, all right, scratch that one off the list. If something's not going to work. All right, what do we got next? What are the next couple things we could yeah, try? And we've What's the next three options? All right, let's pick this one. Let's fucking go all in on this one. See what happens. We fucked that one up. All right, let's have me in the next quarter. All right, this didn't work. Didn't make any money. Losing money. Flip the switch. Flip the script. Do something else. Work in the next direction. That's the purpose of meetings. Knowing, Reviewing the goals. What to do more of. What to do less of. What's working. What's not working. What to start doing. What to stop doing. What to do. What to fucking who's doing what. Who's when it need to be done by. And it just keeps you focused and controlled and on track and on target. But we should have the monthly meeting, not even quarterly, I think. The monthly, because we always look at the month in review for ourselves. Like we do this personally and what's coming up. And we should actually do this. We, we had a moment that we stopped and we were not doing that often. But the calendar is there, so we should do it, I think. We should do it not only for a calendar, but to summarize the month. Like, think about it. Some of you will go from months or just a one month. And if I would have asked you, what has happened in your life in that month? What have you achieved? What victories? And you don't have anything to say. That means that you either just go with the flow, whatever is there, whatever if life throws at you, or, or, or you have just no clue. And, and sometimes it's, 
It's, it's easy to forget what we have achieved, but it's good to do that, guys, because that propels you to the next step. That pushes you to the next step. What the fuck are you talking about? The monthly meetings, check, got it, perfect, oh, okay. excellent. So, monthly so the point is here, the, the overall point of this is the shit that's working in one area of life, you need to take those same things that are working in one area of life and the habits you have, the discipline you have, the folks, instruction, attention you're giving, use that in other areas that are not working the same way. So the shit that's working in business, apply in your personal life. If you have shit that's working in your personal life and your business is fucked up, take those things that are working and apply it. The same discipline, habits, structure, accountability. And including fucking meetings. That's what it's all about. Yes, some of you are just saying something. But it, look, guys, some of you, it's so funny because you could have maybe never thought about this. Keith like, Schmidt said, thank you. We'll be using Google Calendar. So full, we haven't been using Google to its full potential. We will apply and execute that. Yeah. Google Calendar is like, God, I live off Google Calendar. That's like my really? Google Sheets for my checklist or for my, my own personal task for the day. And Google Keep is the collaborative notes and note taking that we do to share like bone and tasks arrow. for to, to go uh, boning and bone to go boning on boning on, and arrow boning on date night lots of boning going on and then <laughs> Google obviously Google Mail and then Google Calendar is fucking god like everything goes to like if, if Google Calendar got deleted I don't even know what I'll just sit around my thumb my ass all day I wouldn't know what the fuck to do yes. so Keith Smith get on it let me know yes. if you need any help with it let's talk about get it get on it and guys again apply what you've learned in your business if you are an entrepreneur bring it to your house if you haven't done it it's some sometimes those simple things uh that you do and you didn't think like how on earth I didn't think about this to do the same with your family you, some of you are probably masters of doing this and and so so precise and creating everything and it's the same thing teach your teach your partner teach your kids it's just fun you can make really a, a date night around it and teach each other how to do it it's gonna be and we fun. do have family meetings even with the kids where they're involved and we talk about things and discuss things like we talk about the creeps that are touching little kids and, and all about that stuff or talk about what are their plans what are the experience going to create we create family meetings also that should be on the calendar also yeah so if you need help with any of this having more discipline having more structure having more energy being more productive how to do this type of time blocking how to planning scheduling all this stuff we're talking about, how to create these meetings, templates for the meetings, agendas for the meetings, all this stuff we're talking about, how to level you up in your mind, your body, your business. Let's talk about it. Send a message, a private message. We do one-on-one -on -one private coaching, operate to dominate in your mind, your body, and your business. She mostly trains all the coaches, all the women, because I'm not dealing with them because they are fucking whacked. You could have them. You could talk to all them. But we if you need any help the same in one-on-one, -on -one, high level, operate to dominate, peak performance, accountability coaching, in all areas of life. I'm not going to say it's a life coach. It's a not. It's a peak performance coach to make you fucking better and better every day, no matter what step you're at. Let's talk about it. Let's get you rolling. That is enough here for episode number 10 of The Russian and the Freak. In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. No excuses.